Let's continue. Let's view this episode. How you doing after all that? Oh, God, oh, I forgot. Oh, yes. he just wants to see it explode. I forgot he was even a character. Like, I looked up and I was like, I don't even know who that is. Who's this piece of shit? Oh, he was not meant to smile. His face doesn't look right. <laughs> look at that face. Oh, man. The light of creation. God damn. You really like how goofy he looks and he smiles. Oh my god, it's amazing! He's got scowl <laughs> the face intended for scowling should not smile. <clears throat> oh god. I was convinced he had resting bitch face, but god damn. Yeah. <laughs> An earth born son. Uh by human hands. Alright, easy there. The easy there, United States of of Vinland. Yeah. Mankind. Did that get too real? No. Albert Miller, my dearest friend. Your fire what? Gift, this great Promethean fire you left behind. What? Change the world. There's not enough there... animation on his face for that. No, no, he no. went to change the world. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 to no. scowling. He said to change the world, and his mouth kept flapping like Pac-Man. It yep. was amazing. And then he's back to scowling. Yep. His natural state. His natural state. Who's oh Al? Oh my god. I, I don't remember if we know who Al is. Albert. I don't remember. I'm worried that that's like Riley's dad or something. Miller? Yeah. What was the guy's last name? I think it's, I think it's Riley's dad invented it. Al. I was your friend, and so I work in your stead. I'm gonna make a poll, and you might super agree with me when I say it. Okay. All right. All right. I imagine me. Belger and Al had the relationship of uh, Frankenstein and uh, and uh, oh god, what was that girl's name? The female protagonist from Soul Eater, her dad, <sighs> the Death Scythe. Yeah. I it's I that relationship. That. I get the feeling that it's like. What one just? I'm so fucking sick of you right now. I always wake up and have weird scars, and I know that it's you, but I don't know what you did. Right. <laughs> it's such a creepy thing to think, but it's completely valid. It's given, totally like, valid the, and uh, fucked up. The um, the imaginary dynamic we've created, where Balthazar and Al. Angie. I don't even care. What? I. That Angie's trapped inside the reactor? No, no. Oh. No, I care a lot because now we won't have anyone to mock over having no shoes. True. Even though that's not really something to mock someone over. It's also probably a safe assumption that she just had, like, spare boots on. Even though I think we canonically saw her walking around walking without around boots on. With, with the clownest of shoes. It's Angie. It's terrible. She wrote a suicide note. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, She's like nine, too. <laughs> like, I didn't want to go there, but that's oh, what... Oh, you super went there, though. I, yeah. Holy shit. What did you say this ship's running on? Kid tears. It's running on her. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Angie's just a little girl. What do you mean she's powering the ship? So did you ever see Trigon? They they plugged it. They the plugged center. her up. The Cavalier, the Comet. Plugged All her in like a battery. All right, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a thing, okay? All right. The reason that Forsetti defected to the Empire is because the Federation's bad, and he wants to get the kids back. Yeah, that's kind of where I was going. That's that. Like I wouldn't I I wouldn't be surprised. Power because his whole shtick was he was he was trying like another one I couldn't rescue. Ah, rah, 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 rah. And it's like it could easily be like, like it intentionally construed as I wanted to salvage the ship and get technology, right? But because we as the viewer know that the technology is children inside of engines, we're like, mm. yeah. And we both know the Empire is not above doing the same. The Federation. 
No, the Empire isn't above doing Oh, the utilizing same thing. kids for, yeah. Right. Turning kids into batteries. It's like they're trying to create some kind of gradient of morality. Because. Yes. Well, how many other people built nukes after we dropped them on Japan? Let's not talk about all those Nazi scientists that found refuge in America. And, like, everywhere else on the planet. Yeah. But mainly America. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just not Shit, talk about that. One. On paper, they're civilian contractors. I could go on about American crimes all day. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. And the one assigned to the Centurion is named Angie. Don't get Joe me started on the Trail of Tears. Don't get me started on American and Japanese concentration camps. Oh, that's another one people don't like talking people about. People don't like talking about that one. <laughs> It's one of those things we just, like, as a society have gone, we're just not going to talk about Well, the that. thing is, is that I've repeatedly uh, talked to, like, young, like, younger, like, younger people about it, like, right. college-age students and whatever, and they're like, blah, 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 American history, and I go, what about this thing? And they go, that didn't happen. I go, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. They don't want to talk about it, but it super happened. I heard they're descendants of the ancient Valkyr, who protected this land a long time ago. <laughs> this is a fertile land, and we shall thrive here. That's and we shall call Claude, this land. That's not true. That's what the legends say, but the legends are fucking bullshit because the Valkyrie are the ones that wrote it. I've already been told that the Empire is weaponized. <laughs> Remember, the Darks and Calamity the didn't really happen. Right. Combat. But you're saying the Federation has their own <sighs> Valkyria, not even as weapons, but as living batteries? That's I mean, correct. there's more than one way to skin and a Joe cat, if you want to call it that. Modified. Sure. Act as a power source. Modified. That's magnet. fucked. She can generate energy far beyond conventional compression. She alone can produce enough energy to power this entire cruiser. So, like, they just pump her, the pump her spine, like, full of Ragnade, and she just prays it away. Well, there's a he the, if we ever decide to do the DLC for the first one, which I'm, I, I, I'm sure we will at some point. Right. Uh, they go into it where. Sylvaria, because you play as the Empire in that DLC, right. does not use Ragnade because they experimented on her in a lab for right. a super long time, and she's like, the blue glow makes me sick when I look at it. It doesn't do anything bad to her physically, but it has a but psychological it, effect. It's a of, clockwork yeah, orange all over again. Psychosomatic effects begin to set in, and she's like, I am so pissed when so I see that blue Ill. stuff. Right. Claude, she volunteered for this. She signed a waiver agreeing that she and her life belonged to the military. Um, what's the age of, uh... Consent? Yeah. Uh, well, are we talking in the 19... 1943, I think, that this takes place in, of also a fake Europe? Of, of totally not Europe. It's a legally binding contract, just like the one you saw Um, well... Who is her legal guardian be, when this happened, I want to say that is somewhere between... 16 and 18. Yes. You hear they also changed a thing about that. Ah, never mind, it's not important. It was an accident that she left the main well, technically and 16. met you all and suffered amnesia at that. But once she remembered her duty, she returned to the main reactor of her own volition. Or at the very yeah, least, in that was, uh, she was under heavy time, uh, duress. Heavy duress because the ship was going to get fucking vaporized. Yeah. How is this even possible? They have magic powers. Why not just all the others volunteered for build a bigger compression engine? Homeland. Well, I think it's the the idea of like but, economic, the like fuel economy. I understand yeah. this. Indeed. Instead of building larger crude machines, why not build a smaller refined power of the snow cruisers would be unattainable without Valkyrian support. This reminds me a lot of the real world comparison that it comes into play when talking about how uh, you should never uh, you should never crash an airplane if you're in it. You should uh, you should always try to bring it back because it's more valuable than you. In theory, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. That is a to that is government totally doesn't like talk about that, but they it's don't a thing. like to talk <laughs> about it because they can train pilots all day, and training a pilot takes for a less time. less time and resources than it does to build a plane theoretically. 
Well, maybe not Bill. I yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know about that, but... Being prepared even before Operation Northern Cross. In terms of just raw financial cost. Plus, I'm sure they're on the bleeding edge of some States kind of silly Miller technology that attack. they're trying to keep they're away from people. Of I'm not gonna even try and get it. <laughs> but that's a conspiracy. Yeah. Insane. How deep does this rabbit hole go? About all the way, it's turtles all the way down, Claude. Would you betray your allies just to take the moral high ground? I mean, if you didn't, if you what didn't... What do you mean by betray your allies? That's a very nebulous and vague statement there, bro. Right. Because the moral high ground's pretty high. It's pretty up there. Allies. For every day we move forward on the Crystal Sea, our allies on land are retreating from the Empire. Do you know that? Right. As we speak, the Federation's death toll keeps on growing. It's almost like war is bad. Operation They're the ones who decided to fight a war of attrition. Cause. The Cygnus fleet is the only hope we have of ending this war. I know what we can do is we'll go in and burn the ground around us so that if they so that if they can advance, there's nothing for them to take. Yeah, but like if you win, what if you have left? That's the idea, yes. It's uh Napole dirt. Napoleonic War. Napoleonic War, uh yeah, straight up. We also there was also I know a that, lot more about history than I thought I did. <laughs> then there's also the famous march from the American Civil War. Yep. Still hooked up to the main reactor. Where what kills people in Russia the most? Winter. Winter. <laughs> Straight up. Straight Napoleon, up. Napoleon had a had a had a great idea. He goes, "I'll oh, fight a land war in Russia during the winter." They'll never see it coming. He gets halfway there and goes, Oh, fuck, this is a terrible idea. Think and because they pillaged everything on the way there, they had nothing to keep themselves alive on the right, way back. And they went, Fuck, retreat. And then, you know, a couple hundred years later, Hitler has the same idea. He goes, I got a better idea, a different idea. He goes, Oh, shit, it's a war on two fronts and we have no supplies. Oh, fuck, <laughs> retreat. Same shit, different, different time. Yep. Yeah. It's almost like Hitler never studied history. <laughs> oh, does it look like Brian's got a toupee on right now? The way the texture kind of goes under the the model yeah, of the hair. Yeah, either that or he's balding super duper hard in a really like the most specific way imaginable. Is he's got the like, weird thing where like the front bit stays, but everything around it goes. <laughs> in a few more years, you, in a few more he's years, he's got like the donut hole of hair. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. It's called her deepest wish. Oh, I no gameplay today. I'm okay with that. I I'm like okay the cutscenes. The, the cutscenes are pretty good. Plus, we're talking about history, and it's cool. That little girl was moving the ship. All this time, it was her. with her with her own spinal fluid. He does the thing where he does the anime wall punch. He goes, "I can't believe she's stronger than me." <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> yeah. Is this supposed to be a joke. She was smiling. Huh? And praying. Angie. And wishing really, she really hard. Smiling. I hate wishing. She said as like a as like a thing to like pull your heartstrings. And the door closed. And she was locked inside. She was looking at me until the main reactor came on. She was smiling the whole time. You think she wanted this? Alright, this is one of the few times they it feels like they got their production together. Like they got their shit together. Mm-hmm. And actually did something cohesive, like this animation. That. There's move. There's a moving score. But she's just a goddamn kid. And the character dialogue feels this more driven. Yeah, more dynamic and realistic. Read this. I told you so. Here we go. Fucking call it. But it's her final wish. To my favorite big sis, Riley. Oh man, here we go. First. Ugh. I want to. I hate suicide sorry. notes. Black screen? Okay, there we go. Animation. I thought you skipped it. Yeah, I did too. I was like, I, I didn't touch anything. I didn't do anything. I am, but I just couldn't. When I got on this ship, I signed a piece of paper. It had a lot of big words, but it said the military would take care of my family after I'm gone. That's fucked after up. That, I drank some medicine, and it tasted really bad, and I got really sleepy. 
And then when you woke up, you had holes in your fucking spine. And then I was in the Forbidden Sector. And the whole time I was in there, I was dreaming. It was a really scary dream. Lots of people were fighting. So she just became the ship. Died. Well, I imagine it would be something more akin to, like, prophetic vision. Sort of like the conscious mind sort of, like, becomes... Processing what... It's kind of... Uh, well, I imagine it's more like like nebulous where it literally like the conscious mind sort of for the sake of like sort of like sagely wisdom type of thing where it's like uh, getting visions of current events that are taking place outside of your current body and location that would do it given that she's literally a magical si super saiyan from this from this world and like has a weird <laughs> bloodline i'm willing to say that that's a possible outlet of her unique power fair or maybe she's just dreaming about how bad war is it's really up in the also air. fair so when I woke up, and I met all of you, and everyone was so kind to me, I've never felt happier in my life. I miss my parents. Even though there's a Am I going crazy, house, or is Claude slowly breathing? Like a really big house with a really big family. You're going crazy. Alright. It's the still, it's the still too. sense, man. There's I was trouble. really hoping that, like, it's <laughs> like bleeding from the eyes or something. <laughs> Papa just drinks all day and doesn't go to work. That's why we didn't have any money. Oh, well, that's just unfortunate. So that explains the bit of consent where it's like dad's literally not a reliable right. protector. Or, there is uh, a uh, viable guardian. That's the one, thank you. Neglecting his duties as a prince. came to my village. They told us to take an aptitude test. And that's how I learned I could be a Valkyria. I could be useful. So I oh, but they give Papa money and help my sister and brothers go to school. Yeah, but your dad's gonna squander it on booze, and your brother and your siblings are are going to be are are still going to grow up around an abusive drunk, and then probably end up being chewed up and spit out by the war machine. Yeah, and congratulations. Friend, go away it's not her not fault. A, it's not her fault, but like it is totally not on her. What? I just think it's a. It, I just think the whole situation. Le mm, Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I really didn't want to do it. See? I wanted to stay home. Ah, with this my is the family. kind of shit I hate. This is why I won't join the military. But if because I you sign a contract, they meaning they own you for the duration of your sad. fucking. And lots uh, of people might get hurt. You're, you, they own you for the duration of your of the contract. Yep. It's why it's why the U.S. government got away with poisoning all of all of the soldiers in Vietnam with Agent Orange. What do you mean? That's like a not serious. What do you mean? By the way, I know. I was like, oh my god, I you, you know more about this than I do. Do I? Fuck. You're better at history than I ever was. Oh. Everybody on the ship. I learned what it means to protect someone you love, and I learned why this war has to end. So I'm going back to the place where I belong. As strong a take on anyone. I'm really proud that I could help protect you. So everyone. edgy! Thank you, Riley. And tell everyone else thanks, too. Goodbye. <sighs> How you doing over there, bud? You're crying. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not. What I'm not crying. You're this? crying. Clock, this operation's over. We're taking Angie and we're getting the hell out of here. That's right. Defect. Go a wall. Do that. This ship will stop dead in its tracks. They'd never make it to the Imperial capital. I get the impression this game's not gonna get there. Just a hunch. You think I give a shit? What the hell kind of Bravo, Raz. I started this game not really liking you, but I can appreciate the fact that you have taken the the road of moral superiority. Yeah. I'm like Claude. You feel the same way. Claude. Yeah. Oh, come on, Kai. Say something. Is Raz seriously being the <laughs> being the moral like the being moral the backbone at the moment, and he's the voice of reason? What alternate universe are we in? The one where the one where Kai was almost a was almost court martialed because she was a spy. Because she was a spy. Whoops. Claude. 
Claude was hired because of because he he did the whole. He is a good student. He was a good student, and Riley joined because her dad was an engineer. None of none of whom necessarily had the quote unquote qualification qualification. Thank you. To actually do the thing, like sure, out of all of them there, like they, uh, Claude probably has the background from military training from like actually going. They did say that Gallia specifically does have required amount of time spent in military uh, training through right. uh, for like a, basic it, training. It, it's a norm. It's a standard thing in a lot of European countries. Oh actually. yeah, like mandatory service. Like yeah. uh, I want to say South Korea does the same thing. Yeah, um, I think Sweden the good, as the well. The good Korea. Um, the one we get a lot of a lot of media from anyway. Um, because they have mandatory. They have mandatory like a mandatory two year. Uh, service program. Mm -hmm. yeah. After seeing this shit, I'd say the same thing. I think it also gives you uh, bonuses to like going into college and stuff. After. Oh yeah, like it's totally a like. I can't take this. You see what they've done to her? Like you can happily opt out for personal so reasons and whatnot, that. but at the end of the day, um, you do not wind up with the same kind of benefits. It's kind of like how how the American military tried doing something very similar. Um, but has had a real hard time paying most of the veterans back since I don't know I don't fucking know the Korean War. Let's not get into that. <laughs> Just looking at each other and making a face, like. Mm. Angie wants peace. She chose this path herself. Man, I'm feeling She's really fighty today. Battle. It's fu and that's war. great. And the blue fires of that reactor. All we can do for her also, why the fuck didn't side. they just lay her down? Yeah, she. I don't like, think that kneeling is really the best thing. If she thing. sits in the same spot, her she's going to like develop blood clots in her legs, and when she stands up, she's going to have an aneurysm. Yep. Attack. Also, I never noticed, but Raz's like eyes are very like his pupils are dilated like all the time. He's time always looking time. at something he likes, or maybe he's high all the time. He's high on Kai. I was thinking it, but I but I wanted to leave that one alone. A child's wish is Riley's new potential. That's an episode. That is an episode. And what an episode. See you later, folks. Do the thing, win the points. Follow you the know, stuff. You know the drill.